Hello everyone, Mike Starks here with the 2022 third quarter market report. And I just gave a little update about a month ago, so I'll try to make this a short little update. Um, so as mentioned last month, the market's really kind of changed uh, in the last few months with inflation and interest rates, and we're kind of transitioning into more of a buyer's market, uh, which is evidenced just by the dramatic drop in the overall activity. So let's just start by talking about the overall activity and sales that have happened in Gillespie County. Uh, so year to date, that's for all, all of Gillespie County, and I'm talking about January 1st to September 30th of 2022, we've sold $370 million in the county. Uh, you compare that to last year's uh, first three quarters, we'd sold $406 million. Um, so that's a drop of about 8.9% year to date. But the vast majority of that drop has happened in the last three months. Um, for the third quarter of 2022, so July to September, we sold $93 million in Gillespie County. And in the third quarter of 2021, we'd sold $144 million. So that's like a 35.9% drop in the third quarter of this year. Uh, and that's also really shows in the total number of transactions. In the third quarter of this year, we've sold 114 individual properties. You compare that to last year, we'd sold 224 individual properties. So that's really a big drop of like 49.2%. So I mean, that's like almost half the sales. Um, so big market shift that's likely going to last through the fourth quarter and well into 2023, you know, with the Fed continuing to aggressively raise rates and just, you know, the overall economic uncertainty uh, is on the top of the mind of a lot of folks. Um, now that same economic uncertainty, you know, that really hits the average home buyer and you see that in the numbers. Uh, but that same economic uncertainty has also pushed other segments of the market in the other direction. Um, you know, for instance, with folks with a lot of cash on hand, right now, you know, the real estate market's really one of the few secure investments in the world. Um, and, you know, the Texas real estate market is especially strong. And subsequently, if you look at sales over a million dollars, so far for this year in the county, we've sold 97 individual properties for over a million bucks. Uh, you can bear that to 2021, we'd sold 78 uh, individual properties for the whole year. Um, so, you know, demand for large ranch tracks just remain high. And, and I think there's a lesson here for everyone. You know, these folks with big dollars um, are still looking at real estate as a safe investment. So even if you're not one of those big dollar guys, and, but you're a little nervous about buying your first home, you know, I, I wouldn't suggest you go overextend yourself to buy something. But if it's in the budget, don't be nervous and, and don't wait because in five years, you'll look back at your purchase and you'll think you, you'll feel like you were a genius. Uh, so just to move into in-town home sales, as I mentioned last month, overall activity is down there as well. Uh, dollar sales for 2022, down about 34.5% compared to 2020 uh, numbers. Uh, the number of unit sales are down about 46% in 2022 compared to last year in the third quarter. Um, however, I'm still not seeing or expecting any huge swing in home prices. Rather, I think we'll just see those huge appreciation rates kind of flatten out over the next few years. Um, you know, but like so far for in-town home sales, January 1st, September 30th of this year, we're averaging $673,192. And at the end of 2021, the average home price was $549,829. So even just this year, that's an increase of 19.5%. Now, most of that was in the first half of the year. Um, and that's about the same number we see when we compare the average, you know, price per foot. Right now, the average price per foot this year is at three hundred and sixty dollars seventy-five cents, and in twenty twenty-one, we ended at three hundred and two dollars eighty-two cents per foot. So about a seventeen percent increase. And, and again, that most of that was in the first half of the year. Now we're kind of leveling off. Uh, then to land sales. Uh, that's kind of mirroring the real estate market with less overall activity, but with pricing kind of remaining consistent. Um, so just to give you the quick land price averages as of September 30th, a one to five acre uh, tract is averaging about $45,998. Uh, six to 10 acres, $45,508. 11 to 25 acre tracts are averaging $30,003 per acre. 26 to 50 acre tracks, 32,574 per acre. Uh, 51 to 100 acre tracks, the average right now is 20,899 per acre. 
101 to 250 acres, we're averaging 21,840 per acre. That number is a little high because we've had some really nice uh, ranch property sell in that category lately. And then 250 acres plus is averaging 12,907 per acre. So, like I said, short report. I think the year end, year end report will be a little more telling of where things are headed. But, you know, I'm still really confident that although overall activity will continue to be slow, prices will remain pretty much untouched. Uh, and that's probably the pattern we're going to see for the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, looking longer term, like five years out, we'll see the typical cycle, you know, turn back upwards. Um, and, you know, if you're lucky enough to be in a place to buy a property today, it'll end up being a good, good investment in a few years. Um, and if you happen to be a, selling a house, you know, don't freak out. You don't have to give a huge discount to get it sold. Just take an honest look at your property, compare it to comparable sales, uh, and price it accordingly. I mean, just this week I listed two homes, one in town, one out of town. Uh, both of these sellers took an honest look at their property. We priced it accordingly, and both of those went under contract within a few days. So just because it's slow doesn't mean you can't sell your property for fair market value. You just have to be realistic. Um, so anyway, I guess that's it for now. As always, you can get all these stats on my site at MikeStarks.com, and thanks for watching.